Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make like a smooth 3D movement camera thingy, or at least I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, first, I'm gonna show you an example. Um, this is a little video I made for Mixo's new contest. He hit 30k followers on Twitter, so that was really cool. Congratulations to Mixo, and he's hosting a little contest where everyone can just make designs and shit. And I just made this cool motion design for his website. Um, I'm not gonna show you on how to do all of those animations uh, because I've already showed you uh, that how to do that. I've already made a tutorial about that. That was the Instagram tutorial. I just want to show you on how to do this really smooth um, 3D camera movement on your website. So um, let's get right into the tutorial. I'm going to close this, go to After Effects, I already opened it up. Um, just make a new project. Uh, new composition, of course, 1920. Uh, it's to 1080 by the way, 30 FPS fine. Let's set this to like 10 seconds or something. Um, so what I normally do is I make a layer like this, just, just make it like white, that's fine. Um, we're going to pre-compose this and click on this one. I'm gonna call this like pre-comp or something, that's right. Um, we're gonna put some stuff in here. Uh, first, I'm gonna hit Ctrl K and we're gonna set this to like 3000. Uh, I also want to increase the size of this, make it like a 500 by 500, so it's really broad, uh, really big. I mean, um, so then we have like a website. Website, let's call it just website. Set the anchor point in the middle, moves all the way to the middle as well. It's just a quick explanation. There we go, set it in the middle. Website. Make a little paragraph. Hey, this is my brand new website. What do you think? I coded it myself in HTML and CSS or something. That's, that's fine. Auto, make this like small, really smooth. The paragraph put it in the middle it's just all an example as you can see uh, i'm going to put this into like the middle I copy it a few times put this like here a little bit a little bit underneath so we have some different angles and shit there we go that's fine so this is what i have right now um just a really simple yeah well let's just call it a website um and we want to connect uh, all of this and this we want to turn on the 3d layer then we may want to make a new null object connect everything to the null object and um, once we have recreated our website and everything is clear we want to hit ctrl k again and set the height back to 1080p there we go and if it's not in the middle you can just pick the null object because everything is connected to the null object so if we move the null object if we scale the null object everything will move along with the null object place this like in the middle and we want to hit uh, make sure the null object is a 3d object too we want to hit p for position and then hit shift and r for to bring up the orientation as well and we want to set a keyframe for orientation and position and go to like four seconds or something and place another two and then first we want to like this is the z-axis so we want to like do a cool close-up and as you can see um the thing that you always see in those cool animation tutorials is like this turn as you can see it's like really cool and flat and shit that's the thing you always see so um i'm gonna zoom in get a little closer on the, on the w there we go we can do like a turn as well you you can just mess around with the settings and as you can see that looks pretty cool and we can set the i still want to be zoomed in a little bit make some more rotation do like that maybe mess around with this a little bit I don't like using the y-axis a lot, I just prefer using this one and the side twist as you, I, I hope you know what I mean. And just like this, and we can hit zero and there you go, you have this smooth animation. And uh, what I also often do is just put everything back to normal at the last keyframe. So you can see you have to like a cool close up and then you pick both of these keyframes, select them both and drag them all the way to the left 
and there you go we have this smooth animation but i'm not really happy with it i still want to put this like in the middle or something put it all the way in the middle so it looks really smooth there we go we can even zoom in a little bit more we can even zoom past it as you can see in the there we go smooth animation so that's basically how i do everything and what i did for the tutorial or or the mix of animation to sync it up with the music uh, i made everything like a linear movement so as you can see it's really blunt looking um there's no easing it just stops moving the speed just shuts off uh, so what i did is everything i put everything in a pre-composition and i hit ctrl alt t to bring up the uh, time remap and i knew like okay the linear uh, movement stops at four seconds so i'm gonna place a key marker here and i'm gonna drag that key marker to like let's imagine there's a beat hit at the three seconds that we move that uh, uh, thing where the movement stops and the next animation comes in we move that to like the beat there we go we select both hit f9 uh, we want to drag both of these markers up let's just check both of these up and we want to drag them in a little bit there we go so what this does as you can imagine um, the y-axis is the speed this is just the timeline so it starts off with a high speed slows down and then it starts up again a little bit so we can animate this so as you can see it's really smooth um, I'm not really happy with this because this ends really blunt and there's nothing coming after it so I wanted to gradually go uh, uh, less fast as you can imagine so i'm gonna select oh shit i'm gonna select this keyframe again drag it all the way up there we go and we can mess around with this a little bit there we go you get the idea so that's how you do this uh, smooth camera 3d movement i uh, hope you learned something from it if you want to learn how to animate everything in such a website animation uh, be sure to watch my instagram tutorial it's like the third video on my channel so make sure you check that out and um just like subscribe uh, check out the rest of my channel check out my twitter at verizon effects check out my instagram at instagram.com slash verizon effects um Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.